Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply and leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we are going to get into tonight's messages, okay? So somebody been putting in a lot of hard work, okay? Somebody been putting in a lot of hard work. Um, you could be waiting on a harvest to come in. You could be waiting to benefit, yeah. Uh, way into to um, benefit in some type of way from your hard work here okay but I see that there is a decision that has been made or is going to be made okay pertaining to some hard work that you have put in and it's got you you kind of hung in suspicion about something you're hanging around you waiting to see what's going to happen okay but I feel like a decision has been made okay and you could just be waiting um to see what's going to happen, waiting on some some clarity pertaining to the situation you're dealing with here, okay? You could be a, 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 a king of wands, a male, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo individual, okay? Or there could be a king of wands um, who made a decision pertaining to something. There's a lot of competition over uh, over this situation, what's going on, okay? Something is going on um, in reference to some money, okay? And um, it's very interesting because it seems like there's a lot of people in competition for this, but it only the seven, it's only the seven of coins, you understand what I'm saying? So um, there's a lot of people in competition for this, okay? A lot of people... Um, who competing and battling, you know, this tug of war, pull between one another, jealousy, envy, you know, uh, type of uh, competing and competition between one another for something that's only the seven of coins here. At least that's what it, that's how it came out here, okay? We got the devil here at the bottom of the deck here, okay? Um, The devil speaks to one being, a person could be chained to the devil, a person could have addictive patterns of behavior, a person could be battling or struggling with actual addictions, whether this be sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, gambling addictions, um, but it speaks to one having um, an addictive uh, pattern of behavior here, okay? We could also be speaking of individuals who are chained to the devil, sold out to the devil, um, which essentially, when people say that somebody has sold out to the devil, none of these people have seen the devil in the flesh, okay? Um, they sold out to the satanic powers that be. And, uh, you know, uh, oftentimes they take some type of oath, they get under some type of contract, and as it relates to what they are part of or what they're dealing with, who they're dealing with, they end up being devil worshipers. This is what is, you know, put upon them here, okay? Um, these individuals are in mental conflict, okay? They're chained to the devil here, and they're sitting in mental conflict over... Um, a situation here okay they could be stressed out or worried about this depressed about this okay having some sleepless nights over this situation here um but i do feel like um this could be this could be some money pertaining we, we're gonna see what else is going on okay yeah we're just gonna see what else is going on with this situation so spirit please give us further clarification clarify the seven of coins for us please What is this money here that everybody's in competition about, okay? Um, if it's, it, I definitely feel like that there's some type of competition, this battle over some type of money here. But I also feel like somebody works really, it, you know, have worked really hard either to have obtained this money or somebody has done uh, some hard work on something and waiting for some type of harvest to come in pertaining to something. But I get the overwhelming feeling that there is something that's going on 
in reference to some type of money here yeah and there's a lot of people in competition over this money or about this money in some type of way it's really ridiculous so because like i said it's only the seven of coins here okay so this could be like seven thousand dollars or something seven hundred seven thousand you know, could be 70000 or whatever. I feel like a seven is in there some type of way, okay? Um, or this could be someone who, uh, this, this money could be for someone who is, um, this could be some money that was left, a gift of money that was left for someone who is a cancer, okay? Who was born in the month of July or even on the seventh day, okay? These people, there's people, because look at this woman here okay the the gift the gift came out first here okay and you see this this woman here sitting on this expectation card she looking right at this gift there is people who want to take this from someone else that this does people who this doesn't even rightfully belong to okay just money hungry greedy materialistic ass individuals that want to take something from somebody else because they gold diggers they greedy they materialistic ridiculous okay they sitting in expectation waiting on some type of decision to be made pertaining to this gift of money that was left here okay yeah they're just hanging around waiting to see what's going to happen uh waiting to see what's going on the two of swords get often speaks to um a legal decision being made here okay so they could be waiting on some type of legal decision to be made pertaining to this situation here okay but people are literally sitting in expectation um to see you know what's going to go on with this money what's going to go on with um this gift that was left for someone this is just absolutely ridiculous and pathetic here okay um the two of swords also speaks to individuals who have gone to the crossroads who uh have um went to the crossroads and made a decision you know went to that fork in the road and made a decision um to make a deal with the devil yeah these folks are sitting up in concern they hanging around waiting to see what's going to happen sitting in expectation sitting up in concern okay and the crazy thing about it is the person who this money rightfully belongs to is in poverty right now these bastards first of all want to take something that don't belong to them but you want to take it from someone who is in poverty this is fucking ridiculous and then they got the audacity to be sitting up in concern about it. Like, these folks, they, they seriously got issues, bro. Seriously. I feel like uh, I was going to say that if I would have pulled this, um, the next car over, because I seen it. We got death here, okay? Somebody, uh, somebody could have passed away and left this money as a gift for uh, this person here. Yeah, there's definitely a legal decision, decision that's going on that people are sitting back waiting on pertaining to this uh this this gift of money that was left to someone here okay we got messages here okay so there could be there's definitely some type of messages news information or communication that's going to come from a king of wands this king of wands if this is a legal decision this king of wands could have been the sitting getting on the honorable sitting judge or uh, you know over this uh case or whatever okay uh someone could be uh yeah look at look at this y'all these were the two cards you just seen these cards fall i was going to pick them up and put them back in the deck y'all i kid you not there's a child who is in poverty here okay these people probably forced this person in poverty like this purpose person is probably in poverty on purpose okay i guarantee you the people that's competing with this person don't want them to have this money it's people that's supposed to be this child's family but they want this money for themselves. They in competition over this money for themselves. They don't want this money to go to this child or to this child's parent here. Okay? But somebody passed away and left some money for this child here. Okay? This child could have been born in the seventh month or on the seventh day. Okay? This is ridiculous. I just told y'all that whomever this, this gift rightfully belongs to is in poverty. But these sorry, stinking no good ass bitches look what came out here this is here with with the five of wands those are them that's in com competition 
message of concern, false person. They receiving some type of message, news, information, communication, okay? They about they false they false fake ass. Okay? These people fake, they phony, they fraudulent, okay? They want to take something that rightfully belongs to this damn child. Yeah. They're getting some type of there's been a legal decision that was made, okay? They try to steal this. With thief here, they try to steal this and get over on the judge, get over on um the law. Okay, they could have falsified something. Okay, in an effort to try to take this here, look at this. You got change in reverse. Ain't no gonna be no change for them. Okay, because they tried to steal this. This is crazy. This is really crazy. This is really sad. <clears throat> That they would do this to a child. I guarantee you, with with this being done to a child, this gift somebody passed away and left this money to this child. Okay, who um hurt this this whomever this child is in their their uh parent is in poverty. Okay, and these bastards, other people in the family, I guarantee you, okay, have um wanted to steal this from them, want to keep these people, this child and their parent in poverty on purpose, okay? And they probably sat back and done things on purpose to prevent um, this child from getting this money. Look at this. Fortune here. They don't want this child out of poverty here. They don't want this child parent out of poverty here. They don't want them to live better in any type of way, so they figured they're going to steal it and take it for their greedy ass selves. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Spirit, clarify the two of swords with expectation. Two of swords with expectation. Yeah, they sitting up. We got room here. These people sitting up in their room, sitting up in, you know, wherever they reside, honey. Um, waiting to hear something about a decision that is being made. Um about this money here that they didn't they didn't try so desperately so hard to steal to take okay um they could have even tried to to kill this child to keep this child from getting this money um to hurt or harm this child okay they could have uh tried to do things um to to hurt harm or have this child removed in an effort for this money to come to them but what's so fucking stupid is if this money was left to this person it doesn't even matter whether it was left to somebody's child or not because this either is either a child that this money was left to or the person who's died child, okay? So you could be a full grown as adult and had a parent that passed away. A parent or a grandparent or something that passed away here. Um, and they left you this. Other of your family members are trying to steal this from you, take this from you, okay? Or you could still have a, had a parent or a grandparent that passed away and left this for your child, which would have been their grandchild. You understand what I'm saying? But you still have these jealous, hate, hating, spiteful as family members who are in competition with you, who don't want to see you with no fortune, who don't want to see you with no blessing, who don't want to see you come up out of poverty with this money here. These people sick to death. They sick to death. Okay, and they could have been trying to hurt you or this child here. Yeah. This old there's an old woman who who hanging uh you know hanging around waiting to see what's going to happen. She's the one who is in concern about this uh the, about this decision here, about this money here. Yeah, child wanted to come out as well here, okay? This king of wands here, such as Aries or Leo individual, is sending some type of messages, news, information, or communication either to this child who's supposed to be getting this money here, okay? Or, uh, and these people could be getting some type of uh, messages as well. Look, they're pleasure seekers. They ain't nothing but pleasure seekers. They try to steal this gift, steal this money for their own pleasure, for their own amusement, for their own enjoyment, for their own materialistic, greedy, gold digging, good for nothing, gutter rat ass selves. And they going smooth to hell for everything that they have done. Especially if this, if this, if they're doing this to somebody who is a child. What the fuck are you to think that it's okay to do this? And it amazes me 
how people can do this type of shit, but they wouldn't want nobody to do this to them. This is whole shit here. But yeah, they're getting some type of communication. We got consolation here, so they're going to get some type of communication after this loss, after this disappointment here with this the legal, legal decision that's being made here okay so what they sitting around waiting on they went in and purged themselves in a court of fucking law they then went and stood before the judge and lied okay they then falsified documentations and did any and everything that they could to take this damn gift from this child here and the crazy thing about it is we got fortune that came out here so it's obviously an amount of money here but like come on bro come on bro these people are selfish. And this is the reason why we had the devil at the bottom of the deck. Okay? These people are the devil. They're chained to the devil. They're shepherds for the devil. They sold out to the devil. Okay? And they're allowing the devil to work through them with their selfish, greedy, materialistic asses. I'm so tired of this energy. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely, pathetically ridiculous. And I'm tired of this shit. These bastards want to wanna, wanna um, live all good and shit for themselves but they want other people stuck in fucking poverty here and whatever amount of money this is like you know like it would shock the hell out of me if it was like millions of dollars i literally feel like that this is anywhere from seven is significant okay seven is a significant number here okay as well as um <clears throat> so this is 7,000, 70,000, 700,000, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's in the thousands, okay? If it's in the millions, okay, somebody got a family member who was wealthy that they never freaking met here, okay? But that's that's like playing Russian roulette, okay, and or rolling the dice with, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> You know, trying for your luck to to, to, to to see if you maybe got some wealthy family member who done left you millions of freaking dollars here, okay? But otherwise, for anybody else, this is probably an amount in the thousands, okay? Whether it's 7,000, 70, 70,000, 700,000, it's in the thousands. You understand what I'm saying? Anything that's in the thousands, like... It's not like a person would never have to work again in their freaking life or something. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, I just ride off into the sunset as some wealthy individual who, you know, wouldn't have a care in the world. Like, these people are pathetic. And it doesn't matter. I, I guarantee they would do the same thing if it was $70. If it was $700. You understand what I'm saying? These are just pathetic, greedy, materialistic-ass individuals. Okay, who think nobody else is supposed to have anything except for they sorry asses. The shit wasn't left for them, so they feel some type of way. So they said, fuck it, we're going to sell it. We're going to take it. I swear, who the fuck needs enemies when you got family like this? You understand what I'm saying? Like, seriously. But let's get y'all some further clarification. Let's see who are these people. First of all, let's see. Let's find out who these people are. That, that yeah, you got some hidden enemies who is in competition with you, Spirit is saying. There's some hidden enemies. You got a girlfriend, a boyfriend, um, who, who amongst these hidden enemies with your family here. You got a sister, a brother that's trying to prevent you from getting this money. You got an aunt, an uncle that's trying to prevent you from getting this money. You got a grandma or grandpa that's trying to prevent you from getting this money. Okay, these people have caused you nothing but conflicts and battles in your life just to prevent you from having some type of money. This shit is all over money and it's ridiculous. And this is supposed to be your damn family here. You're a single mother. Okay, whomever, whomever this is, you could be a single mother or a single father. You're a single parent here. You got crazy ass cousins that's trying to prevent you from getting this money. You got a mother or a father that's trying to prevent you from getting this money. Okay, this is several people from people you would have been in relationships with to your family. Okay, that's working together against you to keep you from getting this money. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. These people are pathetic. And then these people have the 
You know what's crazy? I hate when people make it seem like these people, they, in their mind, the way they fucked up mind work, they be like, oh, you think you are all that, huh? How do a person think they all that? You probably have never thought you was all that or even said out loud that you was all that, okay? You're probably not even the type of person that, you know, is cocky and conceited and arrogant and got a big ego and, you know, all kinds of shit. You don't even think like that or whatever. How can you think that somebody else thinks that they are all that when they don't have nothing and nobody at all? How could you assume, I hate the people that be like, oh, this person lucky, oh, this person always get what they want. How the fuck is somebody lucky and they in poverty? Huh? How the fuck does somebody get what they want when they're in poverty? You think they want to be in poverty? Nobody wants to be in poverty. But these are stupid, this is the stupid shit that come out these sorry bitches now that's in competition with you. Yeah. And this is the very reason why I told you they was doing some type of spell work on you as well. This is the very reason why they spell work and reversed on their asses. Okay? Something big is about to happen though, Spirit is saying. Something big is about to happen. And it could have something to do with some type of setup here. Okay? Because these, these, these control freaks that's working against you. Okay? They have stopped at nothing to try to prevent you from getting this money. The crazy thing about it is. Is I don't know what makes them think. If they set you up. If they worked against you. If they hurt you or harmed you some type of way. That that was going to reverse this money to them. That's not how the fuck that works. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if if something is left for, say for instance, something was left for my child, okay? She get it. I put it up for, you know, whatever we decide to do or whatever. Something happens to her. You, you decide to attack my child and my child winds up dead. That money is not going to come to you, stupid ass. It will be left with me. Or say I got some type of money. Okay, and something happened to me that money would be left to my child It wouldn't go to these stupid motherfuckers who are in competition against you. Okay, that's like not how that works Okay, like these people are stupid. Yeah, you got a whole stalking looking ass ex. Okay, who in the mix of this shit? with your family they disrespectful in a motherfucker any goddamn damn way because if you break up with somebody, if you divorce somebody, your family's supposed to too, okay? So why y'all y'all so cool? Why y'all linked up and so fucking tight, okay? They the enemy anyway, okay? Yeah, see, they mad at you. Whomever you are, they mad because you done walked into your life purpose, okay? And so they're working against you. They've done everything in their power to try to forcibly keep you in poverty. They even have gone as far as to do all type of witchcraft and shit on you. Yeah, they, they, they you done been rejected your whole life. You ain't never had nothing in nobody here. But them, them spells them backfired, okay? On their ass. All them spells is going to backfire. Yeah, they were trying to uh, sacrifice you. They were trying to set you up and sacrifice you to prevent you from having this money. You, you, these people are stupid. Yeah, I knew it. Witch coven rituals. They've been doing rituals to keep you stuck in poverty, to mess with your finances, your money, your resources, your stabilities, your security, your job, your transportation, anything of materialistic value. This witch coven and these rituals that they've been doing, they've been doing all kinds of shit to attack you. You definitely got some hidden enemies working against you. This is crazy. Somebody didn't want you to have a, a car. There's some type, these people are under contracts too. Some type of contracts. Okay. There's also been some type of DHS scandal cover up. These people in competition with you have been uh, calling CPS or DHS, depending on where you at, is either Child Protective Services or this Department of Human Services, depending on what state you live in, what they call it. But it's the same thing, okay? They've been making false claims and false accusations to you uh, anonymously to uh, the Department of Human Services or to Child Protective Services, but you don't have anything to worry about because you're not an unfit parent. Your child 
is not being abused. Your child is not being neglected. Your child is not without anything. They're just trying to get your child took or something like that um, so that they could keep this money. So they can get away with stealing, to, with taking this money here, okay? Because what has what has happened what it seems like has happened is a decision has been made in this court case okay and this money is going to go to this child okay so now they're trying to figure out how they can get this child took from you and end up with them that way they will have access to the money here that's what they're trying to do okay but it's not going to work it's not going to work all that shit that they trying they plotting and planning and scheming okay it's not going to work the devil is a lie somebody's got a husband or a wife that's in on this as well these people didn't want you want you to have a home they didn't want you to have a car they didn't want you to have money they didn't want you to have a job and that was another reason they've been attacking your finances and your stability and security so it can make it look like that you're unfit that you don't you uh you're poor you're in poverty you can't take care of yourself you can't take care of your child okay but if you are a target and motherfuckers been sitting back behind the scenes they seen how hard you was working they seen how you bust your ass they seen how your child always looking good got new clothes on hair comb not looking dirty and filthy and nasty and shit like that or whatever they can come to your house the authority people can come to your house anytime your child got plenty of food and and everything or whatever all kinds of things everything they need even things that they don't necessarily need like electronics and toys and all other kinds of shit okay they don't want for shit so these people's claims are unfounded they're just trying to they're just trying to um and, and, and another thing of that reason why this is not going to work, because I guarantee you, these people have not even been in the life of your child. They couldn't even tell nobody of your child's full name, your child's birthday, your child's favorite color, your child's, uh, if your child had any disabilities or took medications, they couldn't tell you. They couldn't tell nobody how old your child is. They couldn't tell you what child, which school your child go to, what's your, what's your child's favorite, uh, uh, I don't know, cartoon character or animated character or Marvel character or something. They couldn't tell you anything about your child that you your child probably ain't never spent the damn night with them people okay and they they sitting up doing things behind the scenes on purpose okay they don't care about you they don't care about your child they just don't want this money to come to your child or come to you for so y'all could get up out of poverty okay so they want to cause all these conflicts, confusion, and competition with you. That's the reason why the five of ones went out. But all that shit they've been conjured up is about to backfire on their ass. And they know it. Okay? Yeah, they was attacking you with beauty spells and glamour spells as well. For some reason, they wanted you to look ugly. They wanted your body to look bad. They wanted your skin to look bad. These people, they, they so pathetic. They didn't even want you, they didn't want you to be pretty. They didn't want you to have a nice body. Um, they didn't want you to have love. They didn't want you to have a relationship with anybody. They didn't want you to get married. They didn't want you to have transportation, have a job. They didn't want you to have nothing. And then they want to, and that's shit that you can work for yourself and obtain. They didn't even want you to have very the very things that you can work for yourself in Optane, okay? On top of the fact that they want to steal a gift that was left to you. This is how pathetically stupid these sorry bastards are. And these bitches are always talking about karma and judgment, but karma and judgment ain't got a goddamn thing to do with some simple-minded ass bitches, bitter bitches and bitter bombs that sit back, uh, putting themselves up on pedestals, playing, playing like they got in other people's life, creating karma, the karma and judgment that they want in other people's life for nobody else to win except for them. For you to stay struggling and juggling and in poverty and without nothing. They want you homeless and on the damn street. They done tried their best to make you look bad in every type of way. But that revenge they had in their heart for you, they reversed on their ass. Yeah. Spirits say shysty individuals is in on the setup. They wanted to make it seem like that you was codependent, that you was needy, that you was clingy. And all kinds of shit. These folks are devil worshippers. And they narcissistic. They was even sitting back doing sex magic on you. Love spells on you. Glamour spells. Body spells. Beauty spells. Okay. If you normally have a nice 
bubble nicely sized but you know nothing fake and phony and fraudulent you know implanted shit but a nice shaped bubble butt okay and and your body got to looking different it was cause these bitches was doing uh, black magic and voodoo on you to attack your body okay if you ain't never experienced uh, 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 acne or anything like that in your life and all of a sudden you started getting pimples and different shit like that, different little scars and marks and different shit on your body, they were doing witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, and voodoo to attack your skin and your body. They wanted you to look ugly to, to your divine masculine or to your divine feminine, to your real soulmates, okay? Yeah, they had all kind of plots, plans, and schemes against you, okay? Because these bitches is 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 is, is trying to the fucking devil here, okay? They some street hoes. Somebody, somebody working against you that's a part of this is some street hoes. They don't like you because you a visionary. That's why they didn't always rejected you. These people sick to death. These people are sick to death. Yeah, they mad because you a light worker. Because you chosen and they not, they asses is not. You know they not chosen because look how evil and wicked they are. Uh, uh, chosen people don't do the sick, twisted shit that they doing. Spirit, are there any other messages? Watch your surroundings and your kids, okay? Your needs are going to be met at the end of the day. Your needs are going to be met here, okay? You definitely don't have, need to have anything to do with these people, okay? They don't love you. They don't love your child, okay? Either, like I said, this could go one or the other way. Either you have a child, um, somebody passed away and left something for your child. Either this was a parent or a grandparent, okay? Or either... Um, a parent or a grandparent died and left this for you and you was this person's child or grandchild okay but it goes either way okay and we got child that came out again okay so like i said you're either the parent or the person who left the money for or either you have a child um that that this parent or grandparent left this money for okay but there's other people in the mix who have literally um stopped at nothing to try to to try to hurt you to try to harm you to try to prevent you yeah I told you what I told you. They were trying to blood sacrifice you or your child to keep you from getting this money. Yeah. Your mama is a hating ass bitch. Spirit is saying. Your mama and your daddy never had no love for you. Spirit is saying. There is sibling rivalry here. So yo, you got siblings that's hating on you. That didn't want you to, to, to get this... Um, to get this um this abundance yeah your family they're liars they're cheaters and they're thieves even your ex your ex-girlfriends ex-boyfriends ex-wives ex-husbands they're linked up with your sorry ass family they're all liars cheaters and thieves and they try to steal this from you there's a lot of family uh secrets okay there's a legal harassment going on Some of these people could even be on the run, okay? Yeah, they on the run because it was found out that they hired a hitman to blood sacrifice you. These people are con artists. Now they sitting up in mental conflict and concern. Yeah, behind the scenes when it was all good, they was making major deals and making major moves. They was doing, they've been doing moon magic on you. Okay, they did. They was doing anything for money. They didn't want you to have this money. Spirit is saying that they're devil worshippers too. But that's okay. You got a fairy godparent that has been watching over you. You got fairies watching over you. You got angels watching over you. They're, they've been doing voodoo on you. They use voodoo to attack your mind, to attack your body, to attack your soul, to attack your health, your well-being, your financial stability, security, your sanity, your love life, everything, okay? Yeah, Spirit is saying that they're sick Satanists. Hold on just a minute, guys. Yeah, spirits say that the higher-ups is pulling the strings of all these puppets, okay? 
And these Decepticons is going to jail. Okay. For this betrayal. And this is crazy. This is just. It's, it's just. Mm, you just been living life. Okay. And they the ones been sitting back behind the scenes. Doing all this sneaky stuff or whatever. Some unexpected abundance is going to come in. I also, I uh, I was thinking this before the, the, the reading started, okay? I feel like there was a decision that was made a, a, a while ago. I feel like the decision already been made, okay? There is a court clerk. Whoever handles these situations and processing your check or processing the funding, sending it to you or contacting you, there has been a delay. There has been a holdup because these people have been doing black magic and voodoo vigorously to, to keep it delayed, to keep it hold up. And I'm just letting you know, whatever they got these people i got connections with people that work for government okay they think because they sell out and they got connections with certain people they thought they asses was untouchable okay but spirit is saying they wrong i'm here to let you know there has there's a court clerk, uh, clerk excuse me a court clerk who has been going behind the judge's back Okay, and telling people, I don't know, like they're linked up with your family or linked up with your ex or whoever these people that's working against you, they these people are linked up with them. Okay, they either went to school with them, grew up with them, related to them, or whatever. But th these things, these that's going on in the courts, they're going behind the judges back and they're talking about these things, they're calling these people up that they know to let them know what's going on, what's happening. And, and these people are um, doing black magic and voodoo, constantly attacking you, okay? If different things is happening in your life at different times, they're attacking you more and more. Because <clears throat> they didn't already got some type of communication that something ain't going the way they wanted it to go. And they didn't been found out that they lied, that, that, that something was falsified or changed or some type of shit they tried to get over on the in, in the court system, on the judge, you know, within the law and shit. So they sit back in concern and worried about this, okay? But they still been actively doing black magic and voodoo on you. They have not stopped. Even though they didn't got caught up and it's been found out that they lied and falsified shit, they still doing black magic and voodoo against you. They're still working against you and your child. Attacking your finances, attacking your situation here because they want you to be down and out and desperate. Because they in competition with you, with you, they mad, okay? There's also, so there's, like I said, there's a court clerk who have been contacting them, somebody in government, somebody in power, also somebody in law enforcement, as well as someone who works in the courthouse, been contacting these people and relaying messages to these people, telling them everything that's going on. Also, whoever the, the, the person is who processed these, you know, these matters to check or, you know, different things like that, they've been purposely delaying your shit. You were supposed to get your shit a long time ago it's purposely been delayed on purpose because these people were trying to sacrifice you they were trying to kill you they were trying to make something happen to you or your child before those funds got released but a decision been made that's the reason why they sitting up in expectation waiting on something to happen to you waiting on something to go on to happen something to be done okay they've been delaying this on purpose and I'm here to let you know, Spirit told me, whoever that court clerk is, whoever is delaying the process of these funds, okay, you about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. You just about to fuck up a government job that you got. You got you a nice government job, getting paid well. You got vision insurance, health insurance, dental insurance, life insurance. You got 401k, vacation time, everything. You about to fuck it up by being involved with criminalistic ass motherfuckers who materialistic and greedy for some fucking money. You about to mess up your damn career and lose your damn job because that's what spirit is saying. And that goes for those of them who are police and involved with these people as well. Because whomever this, your, your family members, your ex, and these hidden enemies that's been teamed up working against you, they know people that work for the government, whether they the police, whether they work in the court, you know, in, in the courthouse, whether they work for um, 
the Department of Human Service, you know, different people that work in government on different levels. These people have been targeting you, been attacking you, been delaying you for years now. You were supposed to be in God's summit. This has been delayed on purpose due to witchcraft and black magic. But that shit, about to reverse on their ass. Yeah, they was envious of you. And it's going backfire on all of them. Even those of them who, who in power, who in government. Who, who teamed up, linked up with this, this crime mob ass family for some fucking money. They are ridiculous. Ain't no way in hell I would have jeopardized my career to team up with these bastards for nothing. I wouldn't give a damn. Yeah, look. Crooked government officials, police involvement, witch doctors. These people still, they won't stop. Okay? Once again, we got cousins here. Your cousins are a big factor in things that's happening to you, that's being done to you. Yeah. And them bitches is on the run. Several of these family members, several of these people that's involved in this, they on the run. Hold on. And you know what's so crazy? You know how these people, how you know these people are pathetic, ridiculous, and greedy, okay? Um, throughout the pandemic, these bitches, they, they got stimulus checks. And all other kind of shit. And they spent that shit. They splurred that shit. They spent that shit on drugs, on alcohol, on partying, on kicking it, and all kinds of shit. This shit been going on so long, all while they were still trying to steal something from you. And you sitting up in fucking poverty. They that greedy. They that damn greedy. Yeah, spirits say these fools sick to death for real. But that deal they made with the devil, it ain't gonna last, baby. It don't last, okay? Your entire family is in on the setup, okay? But all they all they spells and they curses, they reverse. Times a hundred, times a thousand, times ten thousand on their ass. Yeah, spirits say they say ten excel outs. They all sell outs. They all sell outs. These motherfuckers so shisty. If I was to say Tenny Powell was that big, I don't know who the white folks is in power that they sold out to. But if I was to say Tenny Powell was that big, I wouldn't even want them bitches to sell out to me, okay? Because any motherfucking body that do their own damn people like this, why in the hell would you want them on your damn team? You think them motherfuckers wouldn't be shysty towards you? They ain't loyal amongst their own kind. What in the hell make you think they would be loyal unto you? That's how stupid they are. Powers that be don't care nothing about their ass. But they all sell out, Spirit say. They all sell outs. Yeah, something has been hidden about this situation. Spirit say that these individuals, they are low down and dirty shame here. They have literally been trying to kill you, been trying to take you out for money. They controlling ass narcissists, Spirit is saying. This is ridiculous. I'm so tired of this, this energy here. Somebody's girlfriend is definitely involved. This bitch is a narcissist. She's crazy. She's mentally ill. She puts spells on you. Okay? She's been competing against you. Causing all kind of conflicts and battles and shit with you. Because she's money hungry. She's greedy. And uh, uh, all she wants is money from you. Okay? They were plotting to rob you. If this came to you, they were going to set you up to be fucking robbed. I don't know who they, and this is stupid, because I don't know who the fuck they think sits around with a bulk full of cash on them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? What, what do you mean? The spirits say they about to get locked up, okay? You got sisters and brothers who hate you for no reason that, that that's a part of this as well. There's an evil preacher or an evil ordained minister who's involved in this as well here. Mm -mm. They mad because they can't control you. They mad because they can't make a, uh, uh, um, money off of you. It's a damn shame. These people don't love you. They don't care about you, but they want to make money off of you. They want to control you. How that work? How that work? How you don't love somebody? You don't care about somebody. You ain't doing a damn thing for no damn body. Okay? But you think you're supposed to control them. You think you're supposed to make money off of their life and their death. How the fuck does that work? These people crazy. Something wrong with them. They sick in the head. I'm telling you. 
But anyway, guys, this concludes this reading. I'm so tired of this energy. I'm so tired of this message coming out. Okay, guys? But somebody is dealing with this. Somebody needed to hear this, okay? You're either the child or the grandchild of someone and, and, and they left you something when they passed away here, okay? Or either you have a child that that a parent of yours or a, or, or a grandparent of yours passed away and left them something, okay? Either way it go, okay? It still has to do with you whether it's, 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 it's directed to you or your child, okay? And you got family, you got hidden enemies and uh, exes and a whole host of people working against you who want you stuck in poverty, who don't want you to have nothing, who don't want you to have nobody, okay? I, I just, I, I don't understand that. I just, I, I don't understand that. How do, how do a group of people literally want somebody to have nothing? You understand what I'm saying? They don't want you to have nothing. They don't want you to have nobody. How do you, how do you logically come up with that? Be like that. Think like that. Oh, I don't want this person to be in love. I don't want this person to have a family. I don't want this person to have a husband or a wife. I don't want this person to be happy. I don't want this person to be pretty. I don't want this person to be talented or skilled or having any abilities. I don't want this person to be seen. I don't want this person to have a job. I don't want this person to have any money. Matter of fact, I don't want this person to even have a place to live. I don't want this person to have no food. I don't want this person to have a, tra a no vehicle, no transportation. How do you, how do you think like that? I mean, even outside of this, if this was not even in existence at all, these people still had got you in poverty, and they don't give two fucks. They wanted you to stay in poverty, and they've been purposely, they've been probably cursing you since birth. How do you have that type of negative energy about someone? I don't even have an ex. You know, shit works out, and sometimes it don't. Sometimes people is in your life for a reason, and people is in your life for just a season. Okay? But I don't even have an ex that I have that I dislike and have wished bad on. Oh, I don't want this person to ever have love, ever be with anybody. I'm going to sabotage and ruin their life. I'm going to make their life a living hell. I'm going to do spell work on them. I'm going to attack them. I'm going to, like, who does that? I've never even thought like that a day before in my life. So it'd be hard for me to wrap my mind around people who are that hateful, that bitter, that angry, that malicious in the world. And it's like they want everything and beyond for themselves. But they don't want you to have anything at all. Even when it comes down to the simplest things that don't cost anything at all. Love don't cost a thing. You understand what I'm saying? There are billions of people in the world. These people don't want you to have things that don't even cost nothing. That you don't even need money to get. Like true love, passion, romance, a relationship, a family, marriage. That don't cost any fucking thing. But these people don't want you to have it. They have literally attacked every aspect of your life. What good does it do? To sit back and, and, and hate somebody so much that you don't want them to be pretty. That you don't want them to be handsome. I have never in my life, not even an enemy, have I been like, oh, I don't want this person to be pretty. I don't want them. They too pretty. They too handsome. I'm going to do some black magic and voodoo on them to mess up their skin, to mess up their body so they'll be ugly. Do you understand how mentally ill that sounds? How fucked up that sounds? Something is wrong with that. I have never even thought like that a day before in my life, y'all. So it is hard for me to imagine full-grown-ass adults. These ain't children. These is full-grown-ass adults doing this to other people. And not even random other people. Somebody else is supposed to be their family. This shit is sick, man. It's foul on a whole nother level. You got parents out here, supposed ass parents, that's jealous of their own children. Aunts and uncles, grandparents, cousins, that's jealous of their own family. Man, what do you mean? 
It was not until I kid y'all not. I done went through all my life. And I can tell y'all on many different things that I done been through, y'all. Okay? But I always kept an open mind. Okay? Life goes on. Life don't stop for nobody. If you live through it and you heal from it and you still breathing, okay? You are a survivor, not a fucking victim. Okay? And I'm not the type that hold grudges and shit like that or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? The way I feel about it today is like, fuck it, I'm damn near 40. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I went through some fucked up shit in my childhood, but what I'm not supposed to do is sit up as a fucking adult, damn near 40, with my own damn child to take care of and be sitting up bitching and whining and moaning and worried about some shit I went through in my childhood. Bitch, I lived through it. I got over it. I'm still breathing. I'm still living. I'm a survivor, not a fucking victim. You understand what I'm saying? So, in my mind, I'm like, because I don't hold grudges. Even motherfuckers in the family that I know did me dirty. In my mind, this shit been planned out since I was a little girl. If I ever blew up and made it and became rich, I was going to take my people with me. Even the shysty ones. If I got rich and famous, I was the type of person like, I'm going to make sure my, my, my siblings, first of all, got a job doing something put them on too you know what I'm saying this is how I thought you know what I'm saying and, and most people do most people they get rich and famous or some shit like that the first thing they do they buy their mama a nice house a nice car or they daddy you know whatever this is what you do when you come up this is how my mind was even the fucked up ass motherfuckers who never did shit for me you understand what I'm saying I don't feel like that now to hell with that they go smooth to hell When you, when you so materialistic and greedy, spiteful and provincial, you hate me so much that you don't even want me to look decent. You don't even want me to have the bare minimum. You don't even want me to have love in my life. Who don't want somebody to have love, bruh? Who don't want somebody to have no family, no friends, no support system? I mean, like, just think about what type of person it would take. For a person to have that much hatred in their mind, their body, and their soul for someone else like that every single day of their life and yours to feel like that towards you. I don't think about these motherfuckers enough, care about these motherfuckers enough to even think such negative things about them. And even if I got beef with you or like I don't I dislike you, I would never, it would never fathom in my mind that be like, oh, I want I I wish they kids was dead. I wish they kids get took. I wish they kids get hurt. Who in the hell thinks like that? That is so sick and sadistic. Never in my life have I ever even you know what I'm saying? It's people matter of factly. That's supposed to be in my damn family that I straight up do not care for. I don't have a damn thing against their children. I would never wish evil, wickedness, or anything awful against their children. Not ever. But this is how these people operate. This is what these people are doing. Something wrong with them. These people want to hurt you. They want to hurt your child, man. You can lie to the world. And tell them whatever you want to tell them about me. And when you ain't got nothing to say, you can make up some shit. And lie. Straight through your teeth if you want to. You cannot come up with nothing reasonable, logic, or anything to explain to nobody why you hate a child. Ain't nothing you can say. You may call me ugly, but you look stupid than a motherfucker calling a child ugly. You may call me stupid and dumb, but you'll be looking stupid in a motherfucker to call a child stupid and dumb. You might tell somebody you hate me, but you'll look stupid in a motherfucker telling somebody you hate a child. That ain't done nothing to you. Because why? They're still a child. This is how you know these people sick. They beyond sick, man. They sick in the head, man. And, 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 and what's so sad about it, baby, there ain't no, there ain't no medication, there ain't no treatment for what's wrong with them. 
They ain't no amount of counseling, no amount of medication, no type of treatment or cure for them. They just wicked, evil to the core, and they soulless ass beings. They shepherds for the damn devil. I don't even understand their logic of thinking. Because you got to look at what they doing in its entirety. Even if this here did not even exist, y'all. Even if this here did not exist, I guarantee before this even came about, these people were not for you. These people were working against you. These people were doing things to attack you then, and you just didn't know it. They never loved you. They never cared about you well before this even came up. Because whoever passed away and left you something, they were once living. Okay, so well before this came up and was left for you, these people hated you. These people were working against you. These people was plotting on you. What kind of people set somebody up to be killed so they can get paid? Who does that? How do you sleep at night? How do you do that to a child? How do you hate me so much? You want to hurt me so bad that you will hurt my child just to hurt me. That don't even sound right, do it? And you know what's so crazy about this? You got people who do this type of shit. But as soon as some type of situation goes on in the world and a white officer happened to kill a black man, these be the same bitches hollering about some Black Lives Matter. And you setting up and working against your own people every goddamn day and your own damn families and your own, amongst your own race and your own neighborhood. You know how ignorant and stupid these people are? These be the same damn people that will turn on the news and see somebody that's a smooth lost their mind and murder their kids with their bare hands. A news article, read a news article or turn on the news and hear of somebody who done when ab been apprehended and, 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 and went to prison for murdering their children. They'll look at that news article and shake their head. Mm, 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 how awful is that? But this is the same shit they do. These bitches is hypocrites. Something is wrong with them. But you know what? It don't matter how much nobody stunt in front. How much nobody lie to your face. Gaslight you to your face. Or stab you in the back baby. The fastest way. To find out if a person really loves you. It's either by pissing them off or have some type of money. They come in between y'all. You'll find out who really love you and who don't. You'll find out fast, quick, in a hurry. It could be your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brothers, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your grandmother, your grandfather, your so-called besties and friends. Your ex-lovers or your current lovers, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives. You can find out fast, quick, and a hurry who really love you when there's money involved. I thank y'all for listening. I thank y'all for watching. I do hope the information provided has given someone the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to the situation that you are dealing with. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you could do so at TiffanyZiggler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at shinebrightlikeadiamond36. And if there's anyone who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App at dollar sign tiffdiamond36 or through PayPal at paypal.me slash at 36 diamond okay as always guys take care of yourselves take care of each other but most of all take care of your babies 
Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch your surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Overall message, guys. There's some... There, there, there. Well, you have been working hard, okay? And there's some type of harvest that is coming in for you but there's a group of other individuals who have been working hard to steal some money that was left as a gift for you okay that's the overall message peace love and light guys